There's a system that industry leading business owners like Iman Gaggi and Alex Hermosi are using to this day to make more money for their businesses without the need to get new clients. They're from zero dollars to $140,000 in backend. So we're paying me $10,000 plus at my agency that I have. And this is the same system that stops my clients from having to find new clients so their business can survive. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the system that will help you turn your surviving business into a striving business in just three simple steps. Before I reveal the system that these successful business owners are using to make more money, you might be asking, why wouldn't I want to get new clients through the door on a consistent basis? In theory, it seems like the obvious choice you should take. So if you're already providing a good service and you have the capacity to handle more clients and the resources to fulfill on your promises, then that's a sign that you actually might want to consider getting new clients. But if you don't have the capacity nor the resources to handle more clients and your current clients are leaving you, then what do you do? If you haven't guessed it by now, that's a sign that you need to improve this and you're going to want to stick around. Let's talk about onboarding. Onboarding your clients is the only chance you'll get to make a good first impression. And if you've been watching Suits, you'll know that if you start behind the eight ball, You'll never get in front. If their first impression of you was mediocre, everything you do from that point forward, they're going to expect it to be mediocre. These are already approaching the situation with a negative mindset due to the experience or evidence they have of you. And don't just take my word for it. Alex Hermosi literally improved the customer success rate of a business by improving their onboarding process first. Our customer satisfaction went from non-existing to 98%, but we could not have done this one if we hadn't fixed all of these other things first. We improved the customer onboarding. We then implemented the CRM and created KPI tracking. Iman Gaggi just literally exposed his onboarding process in one of his videos, and he even goes as far as asking for their personal addresses so that he can send them a care package as a welcome gift to their business. The real money is made in retaining clients, not constantly chasing new ones. And this is actually crucial because if you can get your client an amazing gift that resonates with them on a personal or business note, then you're nurturing a relationship and the client will be more inclined to make your partnership. It's no secret work. that the best way to get your clients to continue using your services is by making an exceptional first impression. And the only way you do that is by improving your onboarding process. Let me show you the system my clients are using right now. So I put together a sample client portal here inside of Notion so I can further explain this concept. So as you can see, like right from the get go, the minute you hop inside of the client portal, you already see the name of their business you can see the logo right here and then you can see them providing the services to their clients given that i usually work with marketing agencies i usually have their logos on here as a banner and i also have their logos on here uh, but you know like maybe if you are working with local businesses or whatever it is and then you're running uh, maybe ads for these people or whatever it is you're developing a website or whatever it is that you're offering them as a service, you need to make it make sense to your clients. Another thing I like to do is I like to open this chat room right here and I like to give them a warm welcome message. So usually I do, hey, and then I do at name and then you can find the name of the person right here and I'll do welcome to streamlined systems. This is where dot, 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 dot so on and so forth, I give them a warm welcome message. Or if you want to go the extra mile, you can actually just sit down and record a video, a Loom video, and you can attach the link to that video right here as well. If you're an agency owner and you want to use this exact same client portal, a pre-built sales pipeline where you can literally capture inbound leads, plan content to get those inbound leads and manage all the internal projects of your business in one place, but you're not willing to spend months trying to build the system yourself because well, you have a business to attend. I'll be leaving a link to Ultimate Agency Dashboard, which is the same system my clients are using to handle all of their agency operations in the description of this video. I always advise all of my clients to go over to the project section right here and add all of the projects that they're going to be working on throughout the duration of the service. So when they get access to the portal, every single one of the projects that you're going to be working on or that you guys discussed throughout the discovery call are going to be ready to get started. And the very last thing I tell my clients is to always go the extra mile. So don't just leave it at that. One of the things you can do, given that you already had the discovery call with these clients, you can actually complete all the tasks inside of that one project and complete the project. 
So whenever they hop inside of their portal, they are already going to see that one of the projects or two or three of them have already been completed. They're going to be impressed because they're going to be like, I literally just got onboarded and they've already done something for me. Mind you, these projects don't have to be anything crazy. For example, usually one of the first things marketing agencies do is they collect all of their information, all of the, the pixels and all the codes and all the passwords, whatever it is. They usually need this so that they can start delivering their services. Well, that is also part of the service to connect everything. Let's say your clients don't have their pixel, their Facebook pixel connected to their website. Well, one of the things you can do is instead of calling this project, you can do prepare website for high traffic. I like to name my projects according to the goals that they want to achieve. So if they want to send more traffic to their website, I'm not just going to say add pixel to website. I'm going to create a project around that goal, which is they want to receive a lot of traffic so that they can make more sales. So I'll do something like prepare website for high traffic and inside of this project, I'll name my tasks like connect Facebook pixel to Shopify backend, something like that. Improving your onboarding process is going to allow your clients to see you as someone who knows exactly what they're doing. And most importantly, they'll see you as someone who is not going to be wasting their time.